Slacker Podcast is BYOT. Bring your own tacos. Dick swinging. Dick swinging. You're listening to American Slacker Podcast. We can say fuck. Can say fuck. With Matthew Gertz and Jesse Landers. I don't care if it's spoken. This is cool. That's a decent amount of sausage. This man you know needs what? a doctor. Yeah. I just hope they're tasty. What's up with these clowns, man? Cut the lights and went through people's pockets. Don't you point that at each other. Let them smoke a little. You need to like step it up to that point. <laughs> we're not gonna. We're not gonna lead with the. We're not gonna lead. Uh, no. Welcome to the Fallout 76 Roundtable, brought to you by American Slacker Podcast and the Lost Signals. From American Slacker, I'm Matt. And I'm Jesse from American Slacker, and we're joined by our friends from the Lost Signals. Yep, I'm Scott Thurlow from the Lost Signals. Thanks for having us, guys. And Steve Ramosi from the Lost Signals. What's going on? Oh, yeah, thanks for joining us, guys. Now, we're all fans of the game. That's why we're all here. We've all played Fallout through the years. It's a hell of a Mm -hmm. game, Um, if you're just coming into it. This is going to be about Fallout 76, which is the first online step for the series. And uh, it's going to be quite different. Fallout 76 is uh, is obviously going to follow the RPG gameplay. You know, you're going to go into the story. Uh, it's going to be set in West Virginia during the year 2102. And it is a prequel to the Fallout games, like all the other ones that we've played before. You're going to play a, a, a inhabitant of Fallout 76 who emerges from the shelter 25 years after the bomb falls the great war that happens and uh you're just you're set to rebuild america basically and explore what's left of it now this is the ninth installment of the game and uh bethesda is actually this is their first step into the online series which i found a lot of people thought that they were behind the elder scrolls online which they really weren't that was a xenomax developed game yeah that's and, strange uh, like i forgot about that or i didn't know that either i thought it was a straight up like they did it but they didn't quite develop it right yeah yeah they had they had handed you know textures and helped on it but it was really not their whole development so it wasn't that's their why baby. yeah yeah that's why you're going to see quite a different game and i think people were worried you know with this coming out that it was going to be just a, a direct copy of elder scrolls which was very clunky it was nothing yeah. like the original game i kind of was worried about that like that was my sort of first impression but I, that that's before I I knew when we were doing our research that you guys had pointed out that uh, Elder Scrolls ESO wasn't quite done by Bethesda. So I was like, all right, maybe that might change my opinion. Yeah, yeah. It is a, you know, it's a company that's, you know, with the mother company of Bethesda, but right. it's still, it's going to be different developers and it's uh, in the end game going to have a different feel all over. Yeah. So I'm really excited. You know, we've all seen the beta, you know, we've seen gameplay of it. We haven't had our hands on it, but. I've got to say, the beta looks promising. It looks like a similar feel to Fallout 4. What was your guys' opinion? Yeah, I, I mean, it, it does kind of look that way. I'm I'm pretty excited to see uh, some more gameplay once they get the some of the bugs worked out, <laughs> some of the kinks worked out of it. But um, from what I saw, it looked pretty good. Uh, yeah. It's, it's going to be interesting playing, like having, mm. the, having known all the other Fallout games and having the VAT system there doing that in real time is going to be kind of weird right like right? yeah it doesn't pause the game anymore yeah. which is kind of a be big strange that's yeah yeah the live action but, that's it's a little weird yeah yeah and uh yeah they they have destined that you know the vats is going to return live action they can't slow it down because of that individual it's going to be weird to see that um, it's going to be more like a sharpshooting type of thing yeah right? exactly right that's yeah. sort of like the angle uh, yeah that the, i saw like when when um the coverage of articles and stuff like so to answer the original question like yeah it looks like fallout which looks pretty good right but i think mm. we'll get into it maybe a little bit later like, yeah because the mmo now and because of that stuff because of the way they they can't do vats obviously like the way they would have done it single player mm. it's gonna shake down a little bit differently of course i guess i should a- yeah i like, should have specified like the looks the uh the way the game feels you know you can grab that image from a, a video or two you know where you, you can kind of feel how like the controls feel if they're smooth or yeah. if they're in, rel- in relation to the the games that we're used to at least yeah, and sure. in my opinion, it did look pretty smooth for an online play, which can go haywire like ESO. <laughs> sure. Exactly. You know? you know, so that's the one thing I got to say is it did look like the typical Fallout layout, you know, opening boxes, you know, whether it was combat. The combat looked a little slowed down, but, you know, I could deal with that for the online element. 
Um, 24 players per server with a team limit of four, which is going to be an issue for some people. You know, if you have more friends, um, it is only public servers that release. But what the yeah. hopes are that when you get a private server, which don't be surprised if they do cost money, I, I, I'm almost 100% guaranteeing they're going to be $5 a month at minimum. Well, but yeah, uh, when you get that, you might be able to get more than four people on a team type deal. Mm. Unless you yeah. can host, just host a private server, you know, on uh, on your Xbox. Type no, of that's not available until like you can buy them. Like the, at, at release, it's going to be public only. So it, there's uh -oh. going to be none dedicated. You know. So, so how does how does it work with the? So there's only 24 players in your world basically while you're playing, right? In a world uh, four times the size of Fallout 4 too. Exactly. Yeah. So <laughs> if you're not with them already, what are the odds you actually well, find other encountering them? You can see them on the map. That's the okay. one plus unless the, oh. uh, unless you're a murderer. If you murder somebody, then you're, you're kind of fucked because then you can't see anybody. Sure. But I was going to point that out. Like, so wow. some of the impression reviews and stuff that I saw were like some of them were like, yeah, it feels oddly empty. Like, like, sure, I guess that's fall. It's supposed to feel like that. But if you're just supposed to be MMO, then like, he's like, I, was, I paid for like an hour or two, like whatever reviewer. And I, he's like, I didn't see any other human players. I was just sort of dicking around the world, but mm. not interacting with anybody because mm. of that. I mean, that see makes, a makes style. it a little bit less threatening to me, though, because I, a lot of these like uh, bigger open world survival games, if if you go in, you get murked or people hold mm. down, you know, the spawn points. Yeah. And, That's and true. That's a good point as well. And it, over. Mm. Well, and what I was going to say was if you're looking for more of something closer to the single player feel, of the fallout games that's kind of what you want right yeah uh, yeah it, like there are sure. other people that show up they're around but and you can find them but if you and, want to just go wander around by yourself you can and yeah. story wise it makes sense too which i mean we'll we'll get into a little bit later mm. yeah i mean it's a good um, yeah. why there, right why there would be less people yeah true mm, that's a good point true true yeah, and you know, I mean, it's gonna be crazy to see a map that big with that with that little players. You know, and this is probably something that's not gonna be destined to be changed either. Too, a lot of people are wondering, you know, can they up it? Most likely not. That's a big money decision to change yeah, all these true. servers. You know, that's a good point as well. Um, just like the NPC thing, which I know we're gonna get into later on. But you know, yep. that was that's another thing people are always saying, like, well, they could possibly change that. It's no, they're not gonna make a million dollar change like that. Like, <laughs> yeah. you know, it, it's, it's, it's not that game, easy. Right? It's like, oh, let's just add them. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's like that's, those are the people who are just like the kids on Christmas, where they're like they didn't get the thing they want yet, but they're like maybe it's in that box. It's like, dude, that that looks like a. Yeah. Like, that's not what. That's not what. <laughs> that's dude, that sucks. Cool. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, I think now's a good time. We're gonna pass it over to Steve. He's gonna handle the general specs. All right. Uh, so I'm gonna talk a little bit about this. The, basically, um, a lot of what. <laughs> A lot of what I was going to say is kind of like covered under under the game information that you were it sort of crosses over, talking about there. Matt. Um, but I can say like, you know, it's it's a it's a fairly big game. It's a 45 gig download, I think, on the console. Um, what was it? I think it's like 50 or 55 on PC. Call it 50. Um, half the size of Red Dead's download. And yeah, yeah. Red Dead's like yeah. double the size of that. Mm -hmm. It's insane. Uh, but I did want to. So if you're. If you're looking into getting it for a PC, I did get the specs that, like, the minimum specs needed for a PC, Probably. which is basically, it's not too bad. It's like an i5, 2500, and um, hmm. 8 gigs of RAM, you know, which I, I this will run like shit with this, with these minimum specs. I, I'm getting, <laughs> but, but it can run, uh, is what I'm saying. Yeah. It doesn't do justice to, like, the textures Ooh, yeah. that they put in, because, like, they, yeah. I, I heard it's, like, 16 times the amount of detail as, like, the last Fallout in terms of the textures and graphics and stuff. Right, you dick. definitely want to go up from that. But if you have a console, you'll be fine. And like, I, I'm interested to see where they start getting slowdowns. I'm guessing mm. that they're only having 24 people per server because if they start ramping it up more than that, you'll get like real bandwidth slowdowns and stuff like that. Or just and, fucking you know, crash. You'll just oh my god! Yeah. Crash. It's just in terms of like where people are on the map, you have to think like that has to be generated in some way yeah. on mm -hmm. that server. Yeah. They have, they have 24 processor. different spots on this giant map. Exactly. Yeah, they, their true. processors are rendering 24 locations like, yeah. at the same time on a huge map. And, and um, what's his name? Todd? Uh, Todd Howard. Yeah. Todd yeah. Howard. He, uh, he had mentioned during the E3 like demo of it that you'll be able to see weather patterns across I don't remember that map. Okay. So I'm, I'm wondering, does that mean that the whole map is rendered for the server, mm -hmm. and you're actually yeah. that's why they could maybe only have it as 24 people? It's, 
Yeah, it's probably partially rendered at least. I mean, it's got to be if they're doing stuff like that. But, yeah. Right. Yeah. True. That's that's wild. That that's got to be so much computing power going into that like, constantly. Oh my god! Know? I suppose that's why they're testing it right so, now for sure. So you should say just uh, bumping up from the minimum specs if you're going PC with it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I would say uh, try, go. Uh, well, I use don't know. those as a base, but get, probably get, a get decent, better shit. Get a decent graphics card. I didn't even <laughs> mention. Uh, I think it was like the minimum requires like two gig uh, GPU video card. Uh, okay. Uh, can like I just that. say this is why the consoles win the battle? Because it's like I don't have to worry about this shit. Like, yeah. I mean, man, that's a point that I always am going to make. And on your side, of course, like I argue for consoles just because a it never got like into PC and never like had the, either the money or the time or the knowledge to build and yeah. make a good PC. So that's why, yeah, give me the fucking game on console and I'll, it's already there, dude. It's built for me. I don't have to you know worry about upgrading this or that. And yeah, yeah exactly. man. I mean, me or and like, Jesse once patch or whatever. If yeah, yeah. Me and Jesse weren't were like contemplating like we were like we're gonna do it. We're gonna make the fucking jump from Xbox to <laughs> PC gaming, and we were like started looking into it. And it's like the cheapest we can get like a built like from a reliable dealer like a built PC that would hold for like a year probably. It was yeah. like six hundred bucks, you know. Yeah, man. It's like pretty yeah. expensive, you know, just for something that's gonna get outdated so quickly. But and then like it, like a a tower with like a huge like <laughs> processor it'd be like 1200 yeah, exactly. oh my god yeah exactly yeah even, it's not even all that cheap I'm, yeah, right. I'm talking about like a guy that knows like everything about it and is like willing to help you but like for a smaller cost you know like you go with yeah. like a real game building company yeah you need a couple grand yeah. it's up, right? exactly and if you yeah and if you're building like one of those big games i've seen him go for like three four thousand dollars oh like man that. water cooled that, you know? <laughs> yeah sure. dude you're fucking gaming right. on a car <laughs> like it's crazy ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah yeah the system has a lot more uh computing power than my car does. yeah so i guess the point is there's your specs but uh if you uh if you really want to go easier just to get it for consoles yeah 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 get it for consoles Clear. like Here's xbox one on x with the, like a 4k it'll probably look pretty yeah. reasonable right yeah absolutely yeah like, you might want to um well i don't know if this would make a difference but like the, the there's a new isn't there a new playstation well there's like, the PS, version of playstation now it's the like, ps pro, PS pro. Yeah. Yeah. i think that but does have better resolution thing like it's for 4k as well yeah. So like that's the only difference that, really. Oh, that's isn't all, it? It's not. It's not like the higher resolution, like that 5K or 7K fake, whatever it is. I thought it was just 4K, but I could be wrong because I'd actually look into because I'm not. Playing, I, I don't have a 4K TV anyways. Me neither. Yeah. <laughs> Same. Really like all about closely, but I I thought I had sworn that I'd read that like it's basically the Xbox One X version that Sony's putting out. So it has, okay, like, it okay. But I might be wrong. I mean, don't quote me 100. percent But that's what I think is the difference there. Okay. So. Ah. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not sure, but at, at minimum, it's got to have like a better processor, right? I know. I, you know what? I think it has know? double the memory, so it's got a it's got a terabyte. I think instead of 500 gigs. Okay, like, mm. that's what the Xbox One X has too, right? I think. So like, yeah, it's basically it's basically mm. like they're like, oh, we have to catch up with them. Let's put out the same exact shit just so we can compete. But the VR the though, bro, the VR. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I mean, my original point was, I wonder if that'll run this game better i'm not really sure I mean, i'm sure it'll look better i'm actually mm. trying to i'm not i'm not ignoring you guys i'm trying to look up this yeah, yeah. he's trying to figure it, he's getting to the science of it <laughs> yeah yeah um, i mean i i have a feeling it does probably look a little better on the ps pro but you know i don't know honestly i mean is I it worth it for the switch you know what i mean like or get yeah. one like i don't know but i mean, yeah. i'm sure it looks just a little bit cleaner a little bit crisper and all that sure yeah, to, yeah. to the average game player, you're not gonna yeah. notice much of the difference. Yeah, yeah. I, I, there, I, there are there are certain games where like it that kind of stuff really matters, like especially for the gameplay and stuff. Yeah. But. Yeah. I mean, this, not to reference one, the game that we're smart. addicted to right now, but I mean, me and you were both playing Red Dead, and I think we're both on oh, yeah. LED TVs, not like 4K true, but they look gorgeous, doesn't it? Oh yeah, it looks great. I don't know. I couldn't tell you what my TV is because I'm like dumb when it comes uh, to Okay, I, I'm pretty sure you don't have a 4K because your TV is a couple on, years old. But <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty much in the same boat as you, Jesse. So like, yeah. for example, I just played. I'll just mention real quick. I just finished uh, AC Odyssey, and it looked really oh, nice. good. I'm sure it looked better mm. on 4K, but I don't have that. But it looked perfectly fine. It was yeah. very cinematic. It was the detail on the characters and everything was was damn good. So it was I an improvement Paul, from the last. Exactly. No, I play Human Fall Flat and fucking uh, like <laughs> eight bit <laughs> like looking games. Yeah, so, I mean anything's a step up. Yeah, yeah, very nice. I forget. Uh, I forget. Are you guys uh, Xbox or they're Xbox? Yeah. We Xbox are guys? Xbox guys. Yeah. 
catch us know, on there. I know we mentioned Spider-Man almost made us take the oh jump. Oh my though. god. Yes. Yeah. All you fans, anybody listening, uh, Spider-Man is might be like a thump something that you should get a PS4 to play. <laughs> Believe me, you. if I find one for a steal, I would get it because yeah. that game is so <laughs> luring. Like Yeah, man. And, uh, and if not Spider-Man, get it for God of War because or that game them, yeah. is yeah. Or VR, it was like tempting me. The for VR, that yeah, the VR is pretty tempting too. I know it's probably not going to be like you know the top competitor, but it's pretty decent. Mm. Yeah, it's yeah. supposed to be solid enough. So anyway, yeah, it's supposed to be good, expensive. Though. Well, back to Fallout seventy six. Yes. We, uh, <laughs> we're diving into a little bit of what I always find to be the fun stuff, which is the uh, the lore and the storytelling behind the game. Yep, and the history. Um, mm-hmm. If anyone's not familiar with the Fallout timeline, it is expansive. <laughs> and uh, it is basically a uh, mirror version of our world until about the 1950s. I like to pinpoint it at 1947, where in our timeline, uh, the transistor was invented, allowing for the computing age to take off. Um, whereas in the Fallout timeline, that never happened. And yep. they decided to, you know, keep running with nuclear power, making things like Mr. Handy robots and, yep. and like fusion technology. So like all the yeah. cars run on fusion and everything. Yeah. Exactly. You end up with those small mushroom clouds when you blow up their cars. <laughs> so that that's really the uh, divergent, what, what I like to call the divergence or the breakoff point um, into the fall, Fallout uh, universe from our own. And kind of uh, going past a bunch of stuff, we get to the Great War in 2077, which was a war that blo- uh, broke out across the globe over resource. Well, there's the resource war and then there's the great war the great war was literally just the dropping of nuclear bombs yeah the great war lasted what like seven minutes or whatever like it's yeah it it was just all the nukes started and ended within the same half hour essentially yeah yeah Yeah. Um, Yeah. and ramping up to that is when all of the vaults were being made in america as like a oh you know cold war sort of fear uh, that something like the great war would happen so vault tech created all these vaults and that is what brought us um, the storyline of Fallout. It's all these different um, vaults, what's happened with them, the fucked up experiments that vault has done on people. Uh, we had the first Fallout game, which happened in 2161, the second Fallout game, which was in 2241. And we go to Fallout 3, which is the revamping of the series mm. that a lot of people joined back in. To, yeah, uh, yeah. Kinda, that's pretty much what I did. I would say most people never played on. the originals. It, it, well, um, you guys, have, you guys yeah. had. I have, but like again, like I, I didn't play them when they originally came out because they were like ninety eight, ninety nine, or something. Mm-hmm. But I did play a ROM of two, uh, just but that that was after I played three. So to your point, I definitely got like back in or fully in when three dropped yeah. for sure. Mm-hmm. And, and that seems to be the the most common place yeah. for people to kind of pick up. Mm. Yeah, I tried to get into. I tried to play one after I had played three. I was like, oh, let me go and back and check these out. And it's it was rough. It's interesting, mm-hmm. but it's a very difficult game. Like. It's it's, it's kind of like uh, what happened with Grand Theft Auto to Grand Theft Auto Three. Yeah, like when they changed from being that yep. top top overhead view to an actual open world type of thing. Yeah, yeah. well, that's yeah. what Bethesda took over the company, or well, it took over the idea rather from a, a, I think it was Inlay Gaming or something. Uh, I can't um, remember the name. It's, it's Obsidian. I can't remember. Like they all broke no. off. Well, it was interlay. It was a company that t- you know they had yeah, previously made Morrowind and the Elder Scrolls, and that's yeah. why you see the similarities there. Is because that yep. company had to overtaken it, and it changed from overhead to that. And uh, yep. Yep. yeah, it was really you know it's funny because this game Fallout seventy six derives from the the rights of that because they had the rights to do an online MMO and uh, the exclusive rights, and there was actually a big legal battle over this. Oh, really? Shit, I didn't yeah, know about that. Yeah, which is crazy. <laughs> and, um, you know, they it's failed to get the uh, funding for the game, which was in a contract, and that's basically how we ended up with Bethesda making an online MMO like this. Like, it's crazy. Wow. Okay. wow. Yeah. Good to know. Yeah, I didn't know anything about that. Yeah. That uh, looks, that good research huge. there. Good history. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh Talking about Fallout 3 being, you know, the place where people kind of picked up back up on the series, um, there was actually a mention of Vault 76 in Fallout 3, all the way back oh, wow. uh, in, in 2277. <laughs> oh, uh, the, one of the Vault Tech computers lists Vault 76 on a Vault terminal list for Washington, the Washington, D.C. area. It says it has 500 occupants, uh, supposed to be closed for a duration of 240 months, which is uh, 20 years. And it was a control vault, meaning it didn't have any fucked up stuff. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Um, The interesting thing is, if you've watched the uh, 
the trailer for a fallout 76 where they're doing the slow pan through the vault and showing a lot of yep. the accoutrement of the uh of vault 76 uh it shows on a calendar that it actually opened after 25 years and not after the 20 years that, that it, it was, was supposed to be supposed to be in uh. or the uh tercentennial area of the uh united states that's the whole night or uh, what is it 1776 and vault yeah. 76 it's supposed to be like america's vault and it's like right. a big celebration also ties um, in with that yoga okay, so, yeah. so i'm interested to find out how this five-year difference is kind of explained or mm. like how it affects the gameplay and stuff um because that's not like they're not known for, or they're known for not leaving things out and they plan yeah. things fairly exactly. well they're very so. meticulous about that kind of shit so like yo why why that skip yeah good point when oh, they yeah. create a mystery they do it for a reason yeah, yeah they would yeah. have done that for no they would that's not a mistake right mm. yeah. right True. So after Fallout 3, um, there's Fallout New Vegas, which uh, occurred in 2281, and then Fallout 4, which occurred in 2287. And there's another mention of uh, Vault 76 and Fallout 4. Oh, really? Where is it? Okay, good. It's mentioned in the um, in the opening se- uh, sequence where you're, you know, creating your character, you're talking to your wife, you see uh, your baby, Sean, and um, the vault tech guy comes to your door. Right. If you don't go over to the door immediately and start that cutscene, uh, and you pay attention to the uh, newscaster on the TV during the first first parts of that gameplay, he mentions uh, Vault Seventy Six. Wow! And the, no way. It's awesome. And the tercentenary <laughs> and the celebration of the okay. vault. Never caught that either. Yeah, I me mean, neither. Like yeah. again, but that's a detail. Like like we were just saying, very specific and like they yeah. did, like it's there for a reason. For sure. yeah. Oh, yeah. It comes down to the letters you can find in a random shack in the middle of fucking nowhere. You know, it's like amazing <laughs> right. how much detail these games entail. Yeah, it's, it's always pretty impressive for sure on that front, no doubt. Yeah, I, I so, think you guys live for like dropping Easter eggs in this stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. And, oh. and gamers like, love finding Somebody's got that job, right? <laughs> somebody at Bethesda or some of their programs are like, okay, you put in this little like note, like you said, or some little reference here or whatever. And then like maybe no, not everyone will see it, but if those who do and get it, like they'd be like, that's fucking awesome. Yeah, right. man. So I, I'm sure our listeners right now are thinking Fallout 4. That that's the last one he talked about. I'm gonna have to sit here through another 72 of these titles. If I can <laughs> no. get to get to 70. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't worry. You're not missing out on over 50. It's not games. a numbered sequential thing. <laughs> <laughs> We're actually jumping backwards in the timeline um, to before right. the first Fallout game, and uh, Fallout 76 occurs in 2102, which is a good fucking 60 ish years before the uh, original Fallout PC right. game took place. And it occur, uh, the first day is Reclamation Day. What is Reclamation Day? It's the day that the vault is opened and uh, we're supposed to be taking back America. <laughs> um, making America great again, would you say? Oh God, I Making the wasteland not. great again. <laughs> making the wasteland uh, <laughs> less mutated again. Yeah. <laughs> um, so the it's 25 years after the uh, Great War, the falling of all those atomic weapon weapons, and uh, this is actually the earliest playable point in the timeline. It's pre the Institute from Fallout 4. It's pre the Master from Fallout 1. Yep. It's pre uh, Force Evolutionary Virus being weaponized. I don't think it's pre Force Evolutionary Virus itself because I believe there are super. Yeah. I think they had it. They just weren't doing mm-hmm. anything with it yet, right? In terms of the lore, yeah. Yep. So it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't being. Um, you know weaponized to turn into people into an army of super mutants at least <laughs> at least not um, this time so, so it's interesting to see uh being the first people that this was something that i had mentioned before when we were talking it's a very lonely sort of game uh being such a big map with very little amount of people and no npcs besides creatures and stuff um that kind of reflects the story pretty well though because if they're one of the first vaults to be open there's not going to be too many people True. out there you're right like mm. it, it's a good time it's a good framework it explains that at least yeah so you're not like it doesn't seem odd yeah or why you can't choose those guys when you come out of the vault a lot of people yeah. had that question too like can i play as a ghoul or a super mutant no you're not you're playing as a person that's coming from that vault for a reason like that's why you're a human you know right yeah yeah <laughs> True. Take it, taken back west virginia <laughs> yeah, nice. yeah. Um, Hence so country some, breaking away from the timeline uh, i wanted to touch on a couple of the creatures in the game um we have some returning favorites uh like the death claw <laughs> yeah man everyone loves you can't, the you can't have fallout without a death claw i mean exactly. come on. 
people would get really pissed like where the fuck is the death claws like, yeah that's right? they would definitely notice this is now, not terrifying they, anymore <laughs> now i may be wrong on this uh, correct me if i am uh are, are they mutated chameleons okay so or like horned like uh Wizards or something? That's what the theory is. <laughs> the thing is, they've never been explained fully. So all the fans are like coming up, like, "Oh, could it be this? It could be that." So like Bethesda, some, like somebody or some some of the writers have sometimes hinted, like, "You guys are on the right track," but they've never said 100 percent outright. But the prevailing <sighs> thought is, yes, they're either chameleons or horn lizards that got Harvey mutated and now are like the most dangerous creatures ever anywhere. Oh my god! They're back, uh, rip you a new asshole in Fallout 76. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, and actually, these are going to be like, uh, if if you're interested in like the, I don't know if it'd be like etymology. They're not bugs, are they? <laughs> but just like these are like the early death claws. Yeah. Like, true. Ooh, true. How That's is that going to reflect on um, mm. like what, what they look like or how they act? I didn't yeah. think about that. Have they said have they said anything about that? Or did just basically like we're gonna have death claws? I guess you'll see how well, you know, what iteration they look like, right? Okay. Yeah, I I've seen a couple in like the in some of the gameplay, I think. Okay. Wow. Um, yeah. They'll have like little mini ones, like they're halfway in between. Do you remember that like, mini one? There was yeah, some little death claw small one. Yeah, oh, there was in, baby Vegas, death claws, juveniles oh, and yeah. stuff. There was those. Yeah. Juvenile death claws. In New Vegas, I remember that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um super mutants are also back. Um Woo! and you know, they're super they're one of my favorites. Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. the FEV or forced evolutionary virus. Um but it has not but the master hasn't used it for weapons yet, and there's still super mutants, so that's got me kind of like thinking. Huh, how? I just wrote Okay, yeah, they have to explain that. Maybe, like, I don't know, they're, again, like you said, uh, Jesse, like, early iteration, so it's not, like, mm. widespread. Like, he's not building the army, but they're just sort of wandering around at this point. Right. I, I think that's going to be one of the funnest elements of this game, too, is um, being able to see how these things take place really early in the Fallout yeah. universe and being being able to possibly be part of them as well. Like, whether it's, yeah, like, true. a little storyline quest or whatever. It's like, oh, shit, right. that explains something how this happens. It cause something that happens in the first Fallout or, like, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, like, what if you interact with, like, um, I'm not sure if it'll fall right, but, like, Sean from Fallout 4, like, the baby, you know, as no, he's maturing he's to take over, the, you know, like, <laughs> it's crazy. Or something like that, you mean, like, yeah, I get you. Mean yeah. That. yeah, yeah, I guess that's right. 200 years after, right? So I'm a little off. <laughs> well, I, I, well, in our, the next uh, creature, if you will, um, might not be nice to be calling them that. That might be a slur. Ghouls are back. Yeah. <laughs> 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 weren't so lucky when the bombs fell uh they you might be able to talk to a ghoul that appears in some of the later fallout games because mm. they live for like hundreds of years yeah that's yeah. true they're supposed to be like yeah and, and leave in three some of them are like yeah i lived through the war like essentially yeah. that's right well, that's that'll, that'll, that'll yeah be, that'll, be, that'll interesting. be interesting for sure mm. there's some memorable ghouls throughout the uh throughout the last the few games that we've seen. <laughs> so maybe you could run into them like before you know Oh, that'd then be cool. All three or all four, like yeah. that'd be really cool. So this is a side thing, real quick. Um, me, and my buddy Ian, another partner uh, our, with our podcast, we've always bullshit about like writing a fall game, doing this, doing that. One time, you're like, "What if you were a ghoul as a character?" And like, uh -huh. we thought that was a cool idea. So that'd but, be a I, cool know, like, like side story. Yeah, they're, man. Always, like, they're also one of the most iconic, again, monsters in quotes from the series. So they got. I, I would say they almost have to have them. But it is cool if like since it's so early on, like you said, Jesse, that. Uh, You'd be like, oh, we don't know what ghouls are yet. You'll, you'll meet one. Like, what happened to you? What the fuck? You're like, yeah, yeah, I got hit by the radiation, and now I'm the ghoul. Like, yeah. yeah. Now I'm. Or maybe there's another term they use. You know? Oh yeah. Like yeah. Outdated, True. and they're like, we don't say that anymore. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> not acceptable to call them ghouls anymore. That is not culturally appropriate. No. For <laughs> nice. Uh, what, what are some other monsters they're gonna have? Do you know? Uh, we got some new additions. Uh, some that I'm excited to see. Uh, a mega sloth, which is a giant oh, mutated damn. sloth. Stands <laughs> like what looks to be like eight feet tall with giant fucking claws. That's so awesome. Oh god! Amazing. There's some uh, monsters of like myth and legend from like the I guess West Virginia area, including the Mothman. Which if <sighs> you've ever seen the Mothman nice. prophecies, yeah, this one looks nothing like that one. <laughs> All right, yeah. but still kind of like an actual flying humanoid moth creature. <laughs> <laughs> that still sounds awesome to see and fight. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I feel like that's going to be one of the easiest uh, things because all you got to do is shine your flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Just shine on the pit boy in his face. Uh, right in like, time for all the... <laughs> you just follow it. Um, yeah. There's also the Grafton Monster, which is, I guess, a legend from the uh, West Virginia area, and it's right. like a headless behemoth uh, okay. that kind of just looks like... A, Interesting. A ball of muscle. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Giant, all right. You know, actually, it reminds me of the um, the big the tanks from uh, from Left 4 Dead. Dead. 
Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. That's, That's cool. Reminds me a lot of that. Uh, <sighs> there's also a scorch beast, which is what happens when you let a bat fuck a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's basically a giant flying bat that like you could literally swap the skin for a, one of the dragon skins from like elder scrolls yeah no, no yeah. <laughs> yeah. i saw one in the gameplay that i was watching uh i did it. showed one yeah. come fly over nice uh yeah there i think in one of the trailers they had like a group hunting one of them oh yeah. damn and, okay okay and cool. they ended yeah. up like taking a picture like you know propping their arm up on it like <laughs> look what i got that's awesome yeah which i think is supposed to be another big part of the gameplay um being able to you know use photo mode to do sort of cool that's pictures. true yeah that's something new like a lot of games are doing that and it makes a lot of sense that especially in the framework for this they would have it yeah and i like actually doing that uh those photos like in screenshots and then using that as like the background on my xbox for a couple of weeks yep yep mm. i know exactly what you're talking about yep yeah, yep. just did cool. that with kerbal i landed on the moon finally so that's why <laughs> actually uh solid spider-man did a good job a great job with that as you might expect from a spider-man game but like there's really cool shots you can get in that game oh yeah oh, yeah Absolutely. we yeah we know all about that photo mode we're jealous yeah, it's cool they're gonna have it in 76 because then people you know, like you said like oh we wanted this big crazy hunter like get a picture of you like hanging up a death claw or whatever else you know? yeah <laughs> that'd be, that'd be wicked. sweet um another another uh beast that's supposed to be in it is called the wendigo which is a humanoid cannibal creature of legend um yeah, that one or, i have heard of <laughs> or when or when dingo i've heard like it pronounced it's different it depends on the pronunciation, but I've heard of like the general creature at least. The one you just mm. said before, I never. I guess you could say it's a local legend, but Wendigo is more of yeah. like a prevalent one that at least I've heard of, and it's cool that they'll have whatever it's going to look like. And I've heard of I, I've heard of that coming out of Canada a lot too. I yes. guess it's like yeah. just North American in yes. general. It pretty much um, is, yeah. The idea of like someone eating the flesh of a human and then sort of turning into a monster. Right. Yeah. Thing. It's it's almost like it's not quite a werewolf. Like I've seen it depicted various ways. So again, I don't know what they're gonna do here, but that's like the general idea of the This one goat. looks closer to like a, a emaciated witch or okay. something. Yeah. Um very creepy. And and this is just scratching the surface of, of the creatures that are in there. There's a whole bunch of other ones like uh, a spider hornet looking thing, uh <laughs> it, it snail. I'm sure rad scorpions are probably gonna be bad. Yeah, yeah. There's 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 a lot as well. There's fucking sure. mosquitoes. Uh there's a lot to look forward the to. Float flies and shit. Oh yeah, what yeah. The, oh what were the ones from Vegas that uh, they flew to the Cazadors. Cazadors. You guys yeah. know what I'm talking about? Oh, dude, God, those yeah. things were a bitch. I wonder if they're going to have bitch. those. They were terrifying. Oh. Uh, and that's, uh, I think, a Spanish word for something. Uh, it's like um, hunter. Yeah, that's okay. what it is. Yeah. Oh, God. Well, it Constantly makes hunting. They were fucking relentless, yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and that, so the, that's uh, that's what I got for uh, some of the lore that's uh, taking place in 76. I'm excited. It, Very cool. It, Hell yeah. Chap, but Hell all yeah. that bullshit that I shouldn't know. <laughs> yeah. All these, all these facts about uh, fictional things. But. Yeah. yeah, right. These fictional dates, I gotta get straight. Bro. Now, now you gotta go mm. out there into the into the waste and uh, explore yourself. You know, and become the become a, become a historian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah dig, up them, dig up them bones. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so Scott, you uh, you were covering some of the actual gameplay for us. Yeah, man. So let's talk about that because we danced around it. We we touched on some things, but I think this is like probably the centerpiece discussion. So I guess I'll start out with giving my like initial thoughts. When they announced this at E3, I was like, mm -hmm. oh, cool, new Fallout game. And then MMO, I'm like, eh. So maybe just my personal bias. Like, I'm a huge fan of the series, as we've all been saying, of the franchise. But I'm not a huge fan of MMOs in general and never have been. Mm -hmm. So I guess one of the questions I thought was like, is it necessary for them to have made an MMO with Fallout? Like, basically how we just talked it out. Like, you said, like, there's going to be right, four times the map that we've seen before with 24 people. So right. maybe it feels like a single player game, right? And like, there's going to be quests. I think I have, there will be quests and so forth, but you guys mentioned no NPCs. So like you'll get it from a terminal or a robot or like some, just a note or something that you pick up in the environment well, and that will like, start a quest yeah. or something. Mm. So like, I guess I get my question is like, is it going to work as an MMO? Maybe I'm sure they did a good job. I just don't know if it interests me enough because I prefer the single player stuff, even though it's going to have elements of that. So I'll open up like, mm. what do you like? Were you guys super excited when they announced it, or did you get like sort of more and more excited as it was getting close to the launch date, or how that go for you guys? I think our I think immediate that, response uh, yeah. was very similar excitement, but yeah, worried about whoa, this is you're taking a game that's very. You enjoy the Soldom experience of being alone in Fallout, yep. you know? I was a person that never even took companions, you know? I just, like, I, yeah. I just went at it alone. Like, that's the type of game it was to me. So, like, it's yep. it's definitely it risky to me. And I think that was our concern I, when me and you talked, Jesse, was like, I, I will say, though, Matt, 
at, at heart, we are multiplayer gamers. Exa okay. True. Very true. We do play by multiplayer, but that's the one game I got to say that had the exception of single player to me. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. it was like, damn, like a Fallout. No problem, like being single player. I love that game. Like, there's so much going on. It's, you know, the un uniqueness to it. But, like, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, if there's the, anybody that's going to pull it off to me. Fallout was always the story, like, mm -hmm. like you were just saying. Right. That's the writing, right? And the characters. And writing the characters, all the plot, like the choices that you can make to, like, uh, see what happens. Uh, True. Especially in, like, Vegas, where you can decide, like, on four different fucking endings. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And, and so. So that's like to see that turn into like something that could be like, oh, look, I made my shack, which I'm really proud of. And then someone mm. comes in and nukes it. Like, <laughs> that's hard. like what are we doing here? Uh, yeah. So there is that fear for sure. Yeah, yeah so like, definitely. Ramp up the pressure for sure. I, I don't know. Like, I think I was uh, I was thinking about this when when they announced it. I, I, I kind of had the same response where I was like, oh, awesome. A new fall game. And then it was like, oh, it's a new MMO. And I was like, well, shit. That sounds interesting and cool, except for I can't play it because I will fucking never leave my room again. <laughs> like if I really love it, you know, like I, I know myself and if I start playing an MMO that I get really into, I'll play it six, seven hours a day after I get, you know, after sure, I yeah. work every day. And like, that's, I, I, mm. I just, for my own sanity to continue the output of like my own <laughs> podcast, I don't think I can play this game, you know? Yeah, yeah. And like, you know, I, I, when I got Fallout 4, recently i put probably 150 to 170 hours into that game mm, sounds about right but yep. i knew at some point there was gonna be an end and i would get to that and when i was done the game oh, was yeah, done. True. with a game like this it's like you can play this game literally forever well that's, <laughs> that's or, or until i take down the servers you know what's, like what's your objective then at that point that's what i'm gonna that's what i was gonna ask you i was like yeah there's gonna be quests and stuff but is there an end game like if you yeah. do all the quests then what happens like are they yeah. gonna like you, said, uh, you guys were saying what about that missing five years like that is supposed to yeah. open up you know, 20 instead of first 25 mm. are you supposed to like figure that out and when you do then you just what you run around like either in a group or fighting other people i know the answer we'll the I know. <laughs> that's all you do <laughs> yeah. you know I mean? so like it's just strange to me like 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 matt was saying one of the biggest appeals to me uh for this franchise is like playing it experiencing it single player and just like going through the world and like and getting immersed in it like if i'm doing that and then some random dickhead comes over is like hey let's have a duel i'm like you, that you're like intruding on the story essentially yeah. right yeah, yeah. Get out of my shit <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah seriously so like i don't know like that was the thought that i had and again like i admit that you guys are more multiplayer games than i am ever ever was like leaning towards but like this other shit too like of course they've got the special system and that's like a little bit different you got like perk cards and yeah. you unlock them so like you can like apply different perks and you get points to spend into your special which then trickle down and affect and you them can trade the perk cards too yes, yes. So like you get uh what was it here i've got it here for you in case anyone really needs to know you get perk packs and so level 50 is the cap you get one perk pack uh let's see i have it here blah, blah, blah. uh one perk pack for every two levels for level one through ten and then after level ten you'll get a perk pack a card perk pack every five levels so like it's sort okay. of like you know ration it out whatever and that's fine that makes sense mm. it's just again a little bit different than what you're normally used to at least based on the previous ones huh yeah, yeah. and yeah. and you usually those perks go towards stuff like i'm, I'm a big charisma player and speech play like yeah. you know and intelligence mm. so like how's that gonna factor into my game yeah play? how does that even like what does that matter now like i guess right i don't know but am i better off saving these and trading them for nuclear codes <laughs> that's kind of what i'm thinking Maybe you it's know easier to get, get them i don't know but you're right mm. like that's an interesting question because mm. because of the no npc thing essentially and like on top of that that's sort of related is that um where is it here i'm getting to the pvp stuff in a second but also like because it's as from what i understand the it's a card pack essentially so it's mm -hmm. randomized so you yes. I think at least so you can't choose like at least in previous ones like i want this specific perk i need it's to like, have and i got another oddish yeah i need to have x <laughs> points and whatever to get it or like now i get some perk like like let's say i use uh heavy weapons but i get like a, a energy weapons perk like i'm not probably not going to use that so yeah. I guess you can trade it to somebody who does have something you do want, but I'm just saying there's no guarantee that you're gonna get, you know, I'm your build. You probably get something you you'll use, but maybe not the specific mm. one you want or are looking for, and depending on your style of gameplay. 
So that's yeah, that might limit your build, and that's a big factor of this game. Is like people yeah. go in there like I want to be the gunner, or I want to be the charisma guy. I want to be able to talk to everybody. Yeah, I want to be the lock picker right. hacker. Like, and right. I feel like this game we're gonna have to each try to choose. Like that's gonna be the useful thing with the squad. Obviously, having a hacker, having this, blah blah. blah. But well, yeah, how are we gonna get the there? Interaction between people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but so it's interesting. Can... I don't think we're gonna be able to get there as easily as obviously the Fallout where you can choose your path. Yeah, exactly. So, like, I, I just felt that's a kind of a not a bad design choice, but again, a different one. And I'm not like I'm be curious to see how it actually shakes down in gameplay. Uh, yeah. To see, uh, but um, sorry, I got two more other things about the card packs. Uh, you can upgrade them. I think I did mention that, but and some of them you can share with your party, so you can give like an XP boost to your party. Mm, so that's cool. something interesting that might change up. You know, I'm like, hey, I've got the 10% XP boost. Let's party together, and we'll get. 10% more XP while we're doing whatever we're doing. Nice. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah, that, 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 that sounds pretty cool. Um, I, I actually want to go back to something that we said earlier. So okay. no NPCs means yes. no human. No human NPCs, no right. human NPCs, right? Because right. there's clearly yes. like robots and ghouls and all the Sorry, NPCs yes. that we and People are freaking out over that. Clear, yeah, yeah. To be, it's all, all human players are in fact human. Other people on the server, etc., all quests were given by bots, <coughs> terminals, and found objects. Okay. Mm. I assume like ghouls and super mutants probably as well. Yeah, yeah I, I'm thinking there's going to be ghouls and super mutants that give you quests too. Yeah. You know, it's just Hopefully. no humans. I feel like that's like, it, otherwise it, it, it will feel really lonely. <sighs> if yeah, only bots be, give you fucking gonna... quests, like, oh, God, <laughs> that's so weird. I don't know, man. Well, like I said, you great. can give each other quests too. Oh, really? one comes up you and like you have something worth trading and you say hey there's a thing over here go get it for me and i'll give you the shit oh okay all right True. see that, mm. that, that that that'll be a nice angle then that adds a yeah. little bit right because me up like oh yeah <laughs> this but this is like every time i have a thought like that in a multiplayer game i'm like oh yeah we'll just work together and it'll oh, yeah. all and work then, out yeah, right. so great <laughs> like, okay well, so the guy with the bazooka doesn't think so like yeah. fuck yeah <laughs> so actually that's the perfect segue so let's get that to the other big thing pvp right it's going to be in here so what I understand, and uh, I, you guys correct me if I got little details wrong, but first of all, you guys put up a quote that Bethesda said themselves that they want to turn assholes into interesting content, which is really yes. fucking funny thing to say. So the way I understand it works is that you can't turn PvP off per se. Mm. So what happens is, let's say you and I want to duel. Hey, I come upon Matt's character and I gave him like basically a warning shot. You'll take a small amount of damage and that essentially is an invitation. Like if you want to duel, then you can either, like, you'll attack me back and we'll start, it'll just duel as normal. Now, if you don't want to, or like either run away or go away or whatever, start walking away, I can still kill you, but I won't get any rewards from it. And then I'll be marked as a murderer and everyone else can see that on their map and I can no longer see them. Mm. It'll be like basically <laughs> a thousand for me yeah. if I PVP kill with, with like a non uh, consenting partner, if you will. <laughs> yeah. So like, that's kind of interesting. But the one thing I noticed, so like it says here on top of that, the bounty will be taken out of the wanted murderer's stock. I have here, what if I don't have the resources to cover it? Huh. I mean, like, yeah, what happens? Bounty. Then you're, you're going to jail. Like, <laughs> forever? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, it wasn't clear to me, like, how that huh. worked exactly. I would that is a good question. Pay. Right? You I probably guess, just but... are hunted until you can pay it, and then once you can pay it, you're no longer a murderer, I guess? I suppose, like, do I pay it in caps, or, like, can I give you, like, a bunch of junk items that are typically worth true? If they'll, take, yeah. if they'll just, like, t start taking your clothes and shit. Yeah. yeah. Negative caps. Yeah, so like, <laughs> well, that's actually another good point because it says you do like, so let's say I get killed in a PVP and I'll still get all my stuff back. It's not like Dark Souls or anything or like other shit. You spawn with all your stuff, just not the junk stuff. But so yeah. like weapons, armor, all like important things won't be like, you, you won't have to like be worried about people robbing your sack yeah. of shit <laughs> where your body was. So. Yeah, just a so gear like, to build. Interesting, but I just don't know again. Like like you said, Jesse, yeah, hey, I want to go. Like, let's do this group quest together. And then like another like marauding group. People like essentially role playing raiders like roll through. And I like want to have a big battle duel. Like not, uh, not what I'm trying to do right now. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I already said that. Like I wanted to kind of be a be bad guy from, <laughs> sure. from The Walking Dead and just like <laughs> coerce uh, nuclear codes out of people. And then whoever doesn't give me theirs will eventually be the target of said <laughs> of, of said nuke. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, that's interesting too because like have they said more about how that works like uh the nuclear stuff that is because i think you're supposed to get like pieces piece. essentially yeah pieces of uh they're i think they're letters they actually like will spell out a word okay. and then you take that to um the, one of the nuclear facilities that has like a nuke still like in the ground right. 
uh, <laughs> a working uh, terminal, whatever. Yeah. Yep. And you gotta, and those are more of a uh, like mission sort of thing where you're actually gonna have to fight your way through, okay, like, or whatever that to do it. Like, yeah. Okay. And then make your way there with all the keys, um, which you, I guess you just find randomly. Um, but I guess it'd probably be easier if other people found them to take it from those people or yeah, like, trade, like I just trade with those people. <laughs> I find is, is it random for that. sure? Do you know Jesse? Like, do you do you find them randomly or are there specific quests that you can like if I want to find a piece of a nuclear strike code, yo, here's the quest to do that. I don't know whether or not that's how they're doing it. I, I would hope that's how they do it so that you can have a more targeted quest. Yeah, um, exactly. Because yeah, what if I'm just like exploring and then I randomly found a piece of code like, yeah, that's cool, but now what do I do with it? Like, do I do I want to go trade it or do I just hold on to it? Maybe I'll find more or other people will join up. Right. That's interesting. It, you'd probably end up in your junk thing until like you got the whole. Oh, like, uh, yeah. Until it combines or whatever. Or whatever. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, man. So and you were saying like, so yeah, you want to basically be Negan. So that means like we, did, we were discussing this on our, on our we were talking to you guys uh, the other week precast that. So now let's say, OK, I got my group. I got the codes. Now I'm going to nuke a portion of the map. Like that Fuck is permanent, yeah. right? Like yeah. it changes up the fucking like world and the, what works, right? So like, oh, this this like ten people over there, they're building up a nice settlement. Like the whole time they've been building up their house. <laughs> like I've been looking for the code, and now I'm gonna wipe them off the map. You know, like, yep. Uh, how's and that gonna work? It becomes an irradiated portion of the map. Yeah, too. I was yeah, gonna like, say. What do you guys think about that? Or... Rebuild. <laughs> is that like a good idea? Like, how does that? What, what if eventually? Wait, how about think about this before you answer. One last question about it. What if eventually the whole map gets fucking nuked? Like, then what? Everybody's like, everyone's done. Each other. Better have power armor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, the, yeah, the shit, they shut down. Like, okay, now you have to jump to a new server because you destroyed the yeah. entire fucking map. That Damn, would be I amazing. Wonder. Imagine they just had like, like a graveyard of servers, like, and it was like, uh, we can't use like one through a thousand because they've all been nuked. <laughs> yeah. It's all just the fucking uh, wasteland from like a uh, Ford, like the, the radio the cell or whatever. You know? Yeah. I, w I wonder if they would write something into the code where it's like once one nuke it, because it seems like it takes a lot to get that. Mm, like, right. that's it's, like, it's a grand quest like, for sure. Yeah. yeah. And, like, there's probably um, only so many facilities, right? For sure. Yeah. So you probably can't. Probably, do I would guess. All right. That's, that's, yeah, that's, that's true. true. So yeah. I'm thinking maybe once, like, maybe it, it sort of dies off over time, <laughs> over a couple thousand years, you know, the Earth <laughs> just <laughs> has that half life working for it. <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, I guess maybe, maybe like you limit it to like X amount of nuke strikes, so you cannot do the whole map. But or you, when you drop the second one, the okay. first place yeah. becomes on a radiator. A couple of them or whatever. Yeah. All right. Yep. That makes sense. Again, like, we're just curious about that because, of course, like you said, It'd be nice if people work together and do whatever, but certainly you know people are going to be like beelining to the fucking nuclear strike codes and like see it fast. Like who can nuke someone else the fastest, essentially? Yeah. Oh yeah. It's a, it's an it's an arms race for sure. <laughs> so, yeah, man. So there's a couple other small things that that was those are the big things that I want to talk about for like gameplay, like the big changeups, obviously, given that it's MMO and given like the way they're doing the special and the card perks or anything. So anything else though you got specific yeah. that you wanted to mention about gameplay? Actually, I did. I have something that I want to ask. Uh, I guess just all you guys. I think there's like a similar building, uh, uh, you know, yeah. town building thing as there was in Fallout 4 and this, oh. right? Yep. Um, yeah. So, mm. I mean, that's the whole point. Like, it's reclamation. You know. What yeah. do you guys think of that? What would you guys think of that in Fallout 4? And what do you think? Because I wasn't the biggest fan of doing that in Fallout 4. Like, I, I was like, oh, man, I could be out, like, roaming the waste. Oh, man. The it like, added a new element for me, personally. I went yeah. crazy ham with it. And especially once the mods came out. I don't yeah. know if you guys fucked with the mods, which there are mentioned that the mods are going to come out for this somehow. I don't okay. know how that's going to play cool, into though. it. But uh, they're definitely going to have a creation club. And, uh, yeah, when the mods came out, like, right now, I, I have, I'm on a replay of Fallout 4, and it's I have an 80s style compound that somebody made in a mod with all of like these crazy <laughs> creation like add ons. So I can put in like posters for like Scarface to any movie, like it's crazy to like you know, modern like furniture, the 80s furniture. So it's like no. it gets like sim ish in a way, yeah, you know. So it does take away, sim. but I feel like they're gonna incorporate it a little different to where you won't go so ham with building, you'll just be setting up basic like structures and then going out, yeah. You know, I was like, I was always like a, a 60 40 for like pl uh, playing in the wasteland versus building. Like, I enjoy mm. building, but it was more for utility. Yeah, like, mm. exactly. Right, fucks, you got just enough power. I'm out of here. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, that's kind of how I did too. Like, right. I. Yeah. All right. I threw a couple uh, security measures in. You'll be safe yeah. for a while. See you later. Like, <laughs> generator, generator, water pump, turret. Oh. All right. See you later. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
yeah, same thing. So like, it's cool that it was there, but I was like, my my thing that I said, like, I got tired of saying is like, if I wanted to play fucking Minecraft, I'd go play Minecraft mm. and build shit there. Like, <laughs> like it's cool that you can do it in in um, Fallout. And yeah, they had like, you're right, Matt. Like, they do have some pretty sweet mods. I did actually see some of those like afterwards. But to me, like, that wasn't the appeal. Like, I don't want to be sitting there fucking yeah. around with like. I got this much wood or glue and metal and blah 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 blah. You're right. Like I, I built like a turret. Like I'm gonna a turret. Looks like okay, mm. that's cool. Now I'm going back to play some quests or whatever. But I will, you know, I it, say, yeah, I should say I only played it like that um, after like the multi replays. Like the first playthrough okay, yeah. was like a bare bones fucking sanctuary because it's like yeah. true. You, when you're playing Fallout, you're not playing to fucking build. You're playing yeah, for like what I mean. what's out there. You know, exactly. like the thing I used and the most was actually just the gun mods. Like, yeah, mods. those are cool too. Other than that, like I built like a, a, a like a ramshackle lean to. I'm like, oh, that was my old house. Oh well, like I guess it's just <laughs> rotten. I got other shit to do. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm kind of like on the fence on this because I, I got like I, the reason I didn't like it on Fallout 4 was because I thought there was maybe too much that you could do, and there were times where I get like caught up and I like shit. I just spent two hours fucking building this thing when I could be like doing something else or whatever. Yeah. But I, like, I was also really like, right down the street, and I've been fucking with this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Like I, I really like like the little things that you could do in Fallout Three in Vegas to like your shelter or wherever, or your house or whatever. Like you kind of buy like shelves to put your stuff on or whatever. I, I forget. There was like a, a magazine rack or something yeah. like that. Yeah, and and I definitely did that. You know, I had a bobblehead rack in this one, and yep. and a magazine rack that I had like all the magazines on in this in Fallout Four as well. But uh, I'm looking for something interesting that they maybe dial it back a little bit in in 76 uh, and kind of just give you like the cool stuff that everybody likes. Um, yeah. But I mean, I guess it's different because a lot of people really like that part of the game and really got into it. So mm. I'm just for me, for me it became was... like a hassle to balance the communities. And like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's kind of what I'm, I think he's getting at that. You're saying yeah. that. I, you know, and that's a lot of what it was. Trouble. It's like, I don't get yeah, it. Exactly. <laughs> like, shit, now I gotta go fucking save this like city with one person in it. And like, yeah. Well. <laughs> And again, you know, like I think that goes into the question of like, are they going to be able to pull off the game that appeals to be many different games to different people like Fallout previously like that, you know, like yes. we might be saying this thing, whereas, you know, a bunch of other people are like that made the game to me, the community like yeah. that was like a whole new, you know, like, so I mean, are they going to be able to pull that off to where they appease so many people in the different ways they're going to play the game? Or is it going to be a very limited spectrum now yes. where, you I know, it is like, oh, we can just set up like a little shack and then we're going out to do very limited quests, you know? Yeah. That's that's like, my that's big really worry. Point, Matt. Like that's kind of what I'm wondering. Like, yeah, they of course they want to appeal as broadly as possible, but that means like they have to have each aspect of it decently enough. Mm. But that means like they can't really pour everything into one, you know, one versus the other. Yeah, that yeah. is a really good. Point. Uh, now that I think about it, probably the most uh, the thing that I didn't like most about that was not the building, but dealing with all the people. So if there's mm. gonna be no NPCs, no human <laughs> NPCs. Like I guess, maybe yeah. that'll be, hmm. you know, it, it'll be better. Like I, and I wouldn't have mind if I just had to build one town, but eventually building like twenty towns and having to like be <laughs> responsible. Like, why am I the only one responsible? Yeah, like, yeah. You guys I just to build a sanctuary. Like, anyone I met, I was like, go to the sanctuary. They'll, other people will help you there. Not me though, but other people will be there. Yeah, yeah. yeah I sent them all to the sanctuary too. I didn't fuck with any other towns. Well, and, yeah. and so much now easier. there's a survival aspect in this game too, with the food and water and stuff. That's right. That's mm. the one thing I forgot about that but yeah you're right there's a food and hunger meter right and yeah. uh probably I mean, I mean, to feed the town on top of it oh my <laughs> god yeah, yeah. fucking plant and that was you were good but yeah, yeah like, like not... one guy has to play the cook and he just sits there like at a kitchen and it's like bring me all the meat that you bring me all the ramen meat or whatever and uh, yeah right and that's not an optional system either right that's like built into the game for everybody right the the food and hunger thing yeah but whereas so, you can right? turn it off in the other fallout like yeah, that's crazy that. and, and one of the complaints i heard with that was the fact that your items aren't like divided between like food and, and like drinks or whatever oh um, they're mixed in with like your health items oh really oh, oh wow yeah. that's kind of messy like, you're starving you're thirsty like it's like a fucking drill like oh god get to the fucking water yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah that's <laughs> that god damn it like yeah a possible nightmare with the interface if you have to fuck around like, a million menus to find it out yeah, you're but, which gonna everyone knows the pit boy interface is kind of a pain in the ass anyway <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna throw those right on to uh like quick favorites quick use button yeah, yes, yeah. true that's yeah right which the weapon wheel there are you're right there's 12 uh, 12 slots in the weapon wheel thumbs up 
yeah. which uh, looks like you probably you're right Steve will probably slot like non-weapon things in there just mm. items that will be uh that you can choose to use from from that wheel yeah purified water and rad x yeah yeah exactly yeah. like you know, all your standard stuff med x and all that shit that you probably and, use a lot and, and, and some and psycho because you want to go crazy <laughs> sometimes <laughs> Psycho's your go-to drug like, i'm hungry and thirsty give me some psycho <laughs> <laughs> like now i don't care i'm just angry. i'm addicted <laughs> damn it <laughs> yeah good shit yeah so i guess that's sort of like the big gameplay stuff and like again We'll see, um, you know, how it shakes down because you guys ostensibly signed up for the beta, but didn't really get a chance to because uh, the asterisk. Why don't you tell, talk a little bit about that? How the, how it happened? Yeah, they they said like, oh, mm. you have access to the open beta, but it's like open with a fucking bouncer up front and has a cover charge because they're, <laughs> they're like, only doing it during certain windows of time to like stress test uh, yeah you know, servers and see it, you know what kind of bugs crop up. It was kind of mm. weak. But yeah, so like, like in theory, you, you guys are going to do it, but because of that limited nature of it, they're like, oh, only X time and only for X amount, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Conveniently enough, right after we record this, I think we're able to go and actually yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah, maybe, yeah, finally yeah. do some post coverage of it or something. So yeah. Sorry, listeners, but yeah. <laughs> Live stream it. I, I don't know, man. I was going to say, yeah, true. You, got, you guys have to uh, follow up with us and let us know how it goes once you get your hands on it. Cause, oh, cause, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Like you said, you, were, you tried to, I guess you were at work the last few times that, uh, that they that they had the open beta. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah, it's harsh. But yeah, man. So like, again, it, I I guess I'll say I'm personally a bit more intrigued now, having done some research, and having talked about it. I don't know still if I'm going to get it, only because mm. a red dead, like just the crunch of time oh. for other things. But like, yeah. If, it's funny because if this was a, a a new Fallout game, just a single player, I absolutely would be getting it, and I'd still be going nuts trying to figure out the, the schedule. But yeah, it would have gotten me. It would have sold on sold me on it instantly. Yeah. Mm. Now I'm gonna probably like again like well, I want to hear you guys' impressions. I want to see some other streams. I want to see some other videos, reaction videos when it goes live, when it, yeah. when it drops next week, and see how it actually shakes down and, and, and people like what they think is working about it or what's not working about it. So I want to say one more thing. I forgot. Uh, there's a late edition, Bethesda's account themselves tweeted out something like, uh, yeah, be, be prepared for some bugs in 76. And everyone's like, yeah, no fucking shit. Like, we're always prepared for bugs, man. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's right. a Fallout game. There's going to be bugs. Yeah. Uh, so I thought that was kind of funny as all. But I wanted to I wanted to ask, do you guys uh, Twitch stream at all? Or have you thought about doing uh, that? Yeah, here sure. and there. Okay. If you Yeah, that might be cool to if do you're that. TwitchCon uh, was actually just happening this weekend uh, in my town. No, oh, yeah, wow. Nice. I saw a whole bunch of people uh, with their little twitch badges awesome. <laughs> <That's sweet. laughs> yeah if, if you oh well, i don't even know if they'll allow you to stream a beta but if they do put, throw it up on facebook i'd, I'd love mm. to watch some of that stream yeah we'll throw yeah, some up yeah we'll yeah. see yeah we'll see what we can do i know a lot of times with the beta they'll lock in but you can't yeah. broadcast yeah that, like, i get it yeah. it's fine but i mean like the, in other we've seen other impression videos sure from like, other outlets i'm saying if you can do it that'd be pretty sweet and then yeah, yeah. everybody can we'll, we'll look into it sure. and uh yeah nope. and uh, all the fans can check it out as well Oh yeah. Yeah, man. Like, that's, I don't have much more to say. I think we covered a lot of ground. Like, like we said, like, we'll see. It comes out. So today is Saturday, the twenty eighth or something, as as the time of Sorry. us talking, and it drops on the thir- uh, drops on November fourteenth, like officially. And then the other beta, I think the the original open beta, quote unquote open, was last week on Tuesday, twenty third, for Xbox only. Correct. That. Yeah. Yep. Do that correctly. And then a week later, it opens up for the others, and then the game itself drops on the fourteenth. So. They'll have at least two weeks, I guess, to stress test some more and figure it out until it's live and everyone in the world jumps in and <laughs> crashes all the servers or whatever. I guess we'll see. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. It's uh, it's going to be an interesting game either way. We, yeah. we already bought it, loaded on. Yep. We, yep. we can't. We're waiting. Like, you're you're going to play it regardless. Yeah. yeah. yeah I'm totally so curious to be like, uh, you know, again, if your play style, like Jesse versus Matt's, like, go mm-hmm. Negan and find some codes. Matt, you may be building your community and find a bunch of other people <laughs> to build mod and build some uh, 80s uh, retro oh, well, we'll probably be on the same closer. team and it'll be yeah, me trying to say. reason with the madman over here <laughs> fair enough fair enough <laughs> yeah, but yeah we're looking forward to it and uh, we definitely will be posting impressions and uh, you know some videos at least some captures you know we'll figure out yeah. if we can get the, sure. the actual feed up to Facebook um, but yeah we'll be putting out a lot of a lot of content from Fallout and let you know if we think it's good or if it's shit which nice. could go either way, honestly, I feel like at this point. We don't know. We don't know. But uh yeah, yeah. Thank you everybody for tuning in. This has been yep. uh, a lot of fun talking about the game, breaking it down. Thank you guys for tu- for joining us in this awesome yeah, round table. Thanks for having us for sure. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Where yeah, can people check out the lock signals? 
yep, yep, check us out and so forth. And yeah. uh, of course, keep 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 up with the slackers as well. The, oh, I'm yep. saying, where can people check out the Lost Signals? Oh. TheLostSignals.com, um, or you can get us on any of the socials at the Lost Signals. I think Instagram is the underscore Lost underscore Signals, but all the other ones are the Lost Signals one word. Um, you can, you can find check it. us out on YouTube. Just search the Lost Signals, or on any of the you know podcatchers that you use. Nice. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, definitely check them out. We listen to their show. It's uh, it's fucking entertaining. Whether you're into literature, movies, video games, yeah, all, kinds all kinds of, of shit. Yeah, you guys oh. have a wide variety. By the way, I wanted to mention. I I, I was gonna send you a, a. I am about this, and I forgot to. But uh, I wanted to mention. I was listening to the return of the burrito episode that you guys did. <laughs> and yeah. For the shout out, uh, we appreciated that. So, oh, yeah, of, oh, yeah, course, no of course, of course, of course. Good I've, shit. I've been uh, I've been trying to catch up on your <laughs> on your stuff bad. a little bit. Lately, uh, <laughs> we appreciate it. Yeah, always good, always funny stuff. So, uh, great stuff Thank all you. around. Great stuff from these guys, and of course, great stuff from us, as I always like to agree. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> uh, if you want to get us, guys, uh, of course, American Slacker Podcast on Facebook, on Instagram, and uh, check out our website, American Slacker Podcast dot com. We're also on Redder, uh, Redder, Twitter and Reddit. Redder. Twitter and Reddit at A M E R S L K R podcast. Wow. Uh, please write and review us on iTunes and tell a friend about the show. We always like to throw that in there. Yeah, man. Spread the word about the slackers. They're cool oh, guys. Yeah. And, uh, like talking to you guys. Oh, yeah. Thanks for it. Yeah. yeah. Thanks should, for getting uh, man. Maybe we'll plan this off air, but when I get Red Dead, maybe we should do a follow up or something like uh, oh. maybe in a month. We have enough time to play it. <laughs> Red, but Lord knows we'll want to talk about Red Dead for a long yep. time to come. Right. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> All right, people. Thank you so much for tuning in. We love each and every one of you. And until next time, that's it. There you go. Thank you, guys. See you next.